Hey everyone, welcome to Homestead Corner. Today, we're gonna dig into our preps, whip up goulash, mail in a jar. ready-made meals on the shelf and these meal in a jars are super simple and easy to put together you can prep a whole bunch of them at once and have a ton of meals on the shelf that are ready to just add water and we just love that I had a request for goulash and this is something that is super easy um, to put together and you just throw it in a skillet with some water and you've got a nice healthy meal so you can have that and it's such a good comfort food. I am from New England, so we've always called it um, American chop suey, but I know a lot of people call it goulash. They're basically the same thing. Pasta, meat, and red sauce is basically all it is. I know some people use tomato soup, some use pasta sauce. It's totally, everybody does it a little bit different and that's okay. Today, we're gonna make it with freeze-dried and dehydrated ingredients. And we're just going to use a few things from the pantry to whip this up super simple and easy. Um, I'm going to use some elbow macaroni. Everybody should have plenty of that in their house. I'm going to use dehydrate. Uh, we're also going to use some freeze dried beef. You could replace that with chicken um, or whatever you like to put in there. You could use pork as well. We like it with the beef or you can use the TVP also if that's what you have. The beef flavored TVP would also work wonderfully in this. So we're also gonna use tomato powder, tomato dices and uh, some dehydrated peppers that I have in my pantry and just some seasoning from the pantry. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to get started with this, I'm just going to use some elbow macaroni and we're going to put two cups right into a quart size mason jar. It's a little noisy. You want to make sure you clean your counters really good before this because for anything like me, it's everywhere. I'm definitely messy. Well, there it goes. <laughs> All over the place. So two cups of elbow macaroni. And your jar should be just about halfway full with that. And then I'm going to add one cup of just some freeze-dried ground beef. You can use any meat that you want with this. It'll definitely work. And we're just going to do one cup. Oh, get that in there. One cup of our ground beef and pour that right in as well. Okay, and then we're going to add about three quarters of a cup of tomato powder. Um, the tomato powder is what's going to make your sauce and we're going to put this in and we're going to have to bang this down on the side of our jar to get that to come down into all the cracks and crevices. We want to make sure this gets really full really fast. So making sure we get that down in there is pretty important. And then I'm going to add three tablespoons of dehydrated bell peppers. You can use freeze-dried, dehydrated, whatever you have, and as long as it's dry. But And these are optional, but I love bell peppers in here, so I always put them in. And then we're just going to add our seasoning right now. And um, I'm going to put two tablespoons of minced onion in here. We love onions, so you can adjust these amounts to your liking, definitely. All of this stuff, if you like it with you know, more of one thing than something else, definitely do that. And then I'm gonna add one teaspoon of garlic powder, because I think garlic belongs in everything. And we're gonna get that in there. And we're also gonna add one teaspoon of oregano. We're gonna get that in there. And I'm gonna put one teaspoon of Italian seasoning in there. We like to have this nice, good flavor. And then salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna do oh about half a teaspoon of each because that is what we like. And then I'm gonna bang this down a little bit more. And you can usually fit about half a cup of your diced tomatoes in here. These are definitely optional, but I think it adds to the texture, it makes it feel more like your regular 
goulash. So we're just going to pour some of these right in. I'm just going to put them in. I'm not really going to measure it. I just put them in last because you don't have to do those, but yum, they're good. Just helps add to it and make it delicious. And that is it for your goulash or American chop suey meal in a jar. It is all put together. You can add an oxygen absorber and that will seal it up for you. You could use a um, vacuum sealer for this. Uh, you can put it in a Mylar bag. Any way that you can get this airtight is going to last the longest in your pantry. Cool, dark, dry, and airtight. Best conditions. So we're going to take this over and cook it up on the stove. Okay, to cook this up, I'm just going to use five cups of water total. I start with about two and a half cups and then reserve the rest. So as it starts absorbing it, then I add the rest of the water. If you're using a big stock pot, then you could just put all of it right in there. And then after I got my water in the pan, I'm just going to add the jar. Just like always, simple and easy. We're going to give it a good stir. Make sure there are no powdered clumps or anything in there. And I'm going to bring this up to a boil and then reduce the heat to a simmer and let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes just until your pasta and your meat are nice and soft and you know that everything is rehydrated well. And we're just going to give this an occasional stir and it'll be done in about 10 minutes. So this has been cooking for about 10 minutes. Our pasta is done. Our meat is all rehydrated. And I just like to give it another stir, get everything mixed. And I've turned my heat off. And I'm just gonna let this sit for a few minutes while I get the plates together and let this just steam together with the um, cover on it. Just let it sit. And this is just about ready to go. And that's it. This goulash or American chop suey, whatever you call it, is super simple and easy to make. You can adjust this recipe to your liking. If you don't like it quite so saucy, you could cut back a little bit on that tomato powder. Or if you like it a little bit sweet, you could add some sugar to this also. There are a ton of different ways, but either way, I love these meals because you can tailor them to exactly what your family likes and give them a meal that they enjoy. And my goodness, this is the best comfort food ever. Mm. Mm -mm. I love it. And so grab up those staples out of your pantry, throw together some emergency meals. It's a lot cheaper than buying meals that are pre-made and you know you like them when you control the ingredients, which is the best thing for your family. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.